tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. Super Bowl 58. Patriots taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion New England Patriots taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. comes down to this we are ready and Super Bowl 58 off and running from New Orleans and we will not have a return so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25 so here's the first drive now for the 49ers and they will be let out by their second year quarterback and there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers think about guys like Philip Rivers Randall Cunningham Dan Fouts Warren Moon but they never got to a Super Bowl Yet here he is in his second NFL season, already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. The drive will start with an option going left. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. And he's going to keep this again. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And this is one of the dangers of letting your quarterback run the football. Now, look, he goes through ball security drills just like a running back does. But most of the time, the quarterback swings the ball away from his body. And in traffic, sometimes they forget to protect it. Now a handoff, Stevenson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. So he had the nice run to get him down there. It was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A 
little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they'll try to run the option here. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Open man is Noah Brown. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the fall start. Throwing here, Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. McCaffrey running up the middle. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays. Went in the wrong direction. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they get on the board, trailing now 8-3.
that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Well, the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Jones. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So Tyler Bass on now for the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll push the lead to 11 to 3. So they get the three. It was fourth and one. And yeah, I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. Yeah, the 49ers getting set to trot out there. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play act.
possession game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule. And he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Throwing Jones. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll extend their lead to 14-3. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. There's Purdy on first and 10. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. To throw again on second down. Purdy. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 17. Under pressure, they got him again. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. It's taken to the 26. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. And some room to maneuver. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That good for 22 and a first down. Going quickly here to Thomas. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Throw left side complete. That's Little. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. No gain on the screen there in second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down. Jones on the slant complete to Michael Thomas. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. 
Stevenson. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and end up turning out to be a touchdown against them. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And they'll begin by running the option. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. He'll decide to keep this once more. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. And the Patriots are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Here's Stevenson. That he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ramondre Stevenson with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Purdy. This will be caught by Brown. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he is going to lose yardage here. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Now on second and 13. Purdy, he'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. 
And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Purdy's throw complete here to Ayuk. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Here's second and a yard. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Man open left side is Brown. And the Niners are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Purdy. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. On second and goal, Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Niners get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And that will cut this lead down to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Jones now on first and 10. And this one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. There's a screenplay. This is strong. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Tyquan Thornton, 42 yards. And the Patriots are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. 
And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. It'll be a gain of seven, but I'd imagine we'll see the punt team here on fourth down. One of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Pats at the line ready to go. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now a give to Madison. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. So he stopped for no gain, and that'll make it second down. Straight ahead at Stevenson, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Back to throw. Jones. This one swung outside to Strong. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. On the handoff, Stevenson. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. 55 rushing yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. This is Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Patriots are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Good job. 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. First down, Purdy. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy, he's got Ayuk once again. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And they run the option here on first and ten. And yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Now on first down, it's Purdy. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Back to throw, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. This is third and nine. Purdy looking to throw. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Gonzalez good on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Looking to throw, Jones. Sliding out of the pocket. That'll be complete to Stevenson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Stevenson now on first and 10. 82 yards rushing for him now. A big part, no doubt, of why they lead in this Super Bowl. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Madison running left. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. Another carry now for Madison. 
And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Little. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That one goes for 24 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to throw. Jones. That's Strong bringing it in on the out route. Touchdown! Pierre Strong. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Here's Purdy. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. It'll be a gain of just a yard. 38-yard line, second and nine. Purdy now to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. 23 yards the pick up there. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll look to throw again here. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Operating from the gun, Purdy. Drops this underneath. It's Mitchell. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And they will remain well, well behind. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice. We just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, this is Madison. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 75 yards here for Madison. He's got a first down. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Diamador Lenore up to make the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Going to run with Madison again. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. They'll go Madison up the middle. He's going to be marked down very close to the first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard short. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports